Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Meta has just dropped this Spirit LM model. Spirit LM is a multimodal language model that freely mixes text and speech. The model can be prompted with either text or speech and is capable of generating outputs in either modality while preserving the expressivity of the input prompt. The model is also able to learn new tasks around modalities such as automatic speech recognition, text to speech and speech classification in a few short manner. In this video, we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works. In order to get started, you would need to go to Meta's website. From there, you would need to request access. All you need to do is to just fill in your name, email, date of birth and then just scroll down, accept the terms and condition and then uh, submit the request. It takes around an hour to get the approval. That is what my experience is. Once you have the approval, Meta will send you a link to download all the models or all the zip files. The total size of those zip files is around 20 gig. So I just received the link and I have downloaded these, this zip file as you can see on my screen on uh, the size is as you can see on the right is 22 gig. So make sure you have that much space. So this is a prerequisite which you need to do with this model. It's not really available at Hugging Face. There are some ungated model, but I would suggest go with the proper source here so that you would know that you are not downloading any um, unofficial file or you never know about the uh, other files which are not from the meta anyway so this is the first step where we download the model from meta's own link once that's done we would also need to go to this uh, github repo by meta where you will see they have given some of the information around what sort of directory structure you need to maintain once you download this model and this is the directory structure which you need to maintain on your disk for this model to work out properly so for that let me walk you through how would we do that and install everything from scratch locally before i do that let me give a huge thanks to mass compute for sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. So This is Ubuntu system I am running, Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM, courtesy masked compute. First, let's git clone the repo of spirit lm and i will drop the link to it in video description that is done and we have also seeded into that directory let's install some of the prerequisites here i'm just installing this torch torch audio and few other stuff so let's wait for it that's finished next up let's create a virtual environment with conda there are a few ways you can install this you can install it through pip or through dev but i think that this conda installation is the best because it keeps everything separate from your local system and the conda environment is created let's activate it by doing conda activate spirit lm underscore test and you can see in parenthesis that it is now activated next up let's install all the packages in the editable mode plus also some extra one in the eval section that is going to take a minute so let's wait and that installation is also done let's clear the screen if i show you the content of this directory in the root of the repo you will see that there is a directory called as checkpoints let's see into it this is where we need to make sure we have all the models so there is nothing in here except the readme let me move everything from my downloads directory to here so let i think that is in downloads and i'm just going to double check the name of it so this is the one in the downloads which i have just downloaded you can directly download in this directory if you like so i'm just going to move it here and now if i do ls ltr you will see that directory is here 
all i need to do is to do unzip and spirit and it is going to unzip it in the local folder so let me run it let's wait for it to get unzipped and you can even unzip it at the root of the repo and it is <coughs> going to save you an extra step of moving it back also make sure you have 30 gb of space available for this so of course you would download the zipped file which is around 22 gig and then once you unzip it i think it is around 30 gig so make sure around 52 gig or something like you have on your local hard disk the unzip, in unzip is going to take a bit of a time so just be patient it took me around five minutes to unzip everything and if i do ls here you will see that now it has created an, another checkpoint directory so what we need to do here first i'm just going to remove this zip file which is taking a lot of space on my system let's wait for it to get deleted that is done next up uh, what i want to do i just want to move everything one directory back because we have created created an extra checkpoints directory so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to go one step back and then just use move command to move everything here so from this checkpoint directory i'm moving everything within the next point uh, next checkpoint directory to the local one so let me run it so we have moved up, moved everything let me delete the empty checkpoint directory and if i now do the ls dash ldr this looks perfect it has all the models here sp spirit lm model speech tokenizer and that is what we needed so if you go to that github repo and double check that directory structures so you see there is a checkpoint there is a readme speech tokenizer spirit lm model and that's what we have here on our local system the reason why i'm spending so much time on this one because if you don't get this right this model is not going to work okay so let's clear the screen here so eventually everything is installed all the models are downloaded we are at the root of that spirit lm repo from here let me create a conda of jupyter notebook after installing it so that we could play around with this model in our browser environment that will make it easier so let's wait for it to get launched in the browser and our notebook is launched now let's do the speech generation here and also don't worry about the commands which i'm going to post here because i'm going to give you the link from where you can also run this easily so first up let's import the libraries and then just define a function here and that is done now next up also remember that this spirit lm comes into two variants one is spirit lm base and the other one is spirit lm expressive both of these spirit lm base and spirit lm expressive are fine-tuned from the 7 billion llama 2 model on text only speech only and aligned speech plus text data sets if you compare the spirit lm base with spirit lm expressive the difference is that spirit lm expressive captures not only the semantics but also the expressivity from the speech so i would highly suggest that you go with spirit lm uh, expressive because it not uh, it does both things whereas spirit lm base only does semantic so i'm going to go with the spirit lm expressive um, the commands are exactly the same for both of these so there is not much difference all you need to do is to replace the model name for example you see that in this line i'm just giving it spirit lm expressive 7 billion if you just want to use base just replace this expressive with the base model and it should be good to go so let me set this variable with this and basically it is setting it up configuring it so let's wait for it to load okay so you see that it is also giving you this information and you can ignore these warnings that is fine so it has loaded the model let's do the generation so here you see that what we are saying here is this is interleaved input which means that text with the speech the text is i am so deeply saddened it feels as if my heart is shattering into a million pieces and i can't hold back the tears that are streaming down my face because you haven't still subscribed to my channel and share it with your network so let me run it and then we'll see what it produces 
so it is running at the moment and these are some of the hyper parameters for the output while it runs let me also okay so it has generated the audio as i was speaking just give me a sec i want to check how much vram it is using so it is using just close to 15 gig of vram so make sure you have 16 gp gpu card okay so that is good let me play the audio here apologize if i'm making so many ears embarrassing cries i just can't help but crying but so i apologize if i'm making so many ears embarrassing cries i just can't help but crying but you see how cleverly it has not only embedded the taken out the semantic out of that input but also it has given us the true expression of that sad feeling let's try out something else okay let's try out something positive here so in this one we are just going with wow congratulations i'm so excited let's run it and see what it produces this time mix new token are just 200 which is good and temperature which controls the randomness of the response the closer to one means more creative and um, closer to zero mean more deterministic let's wait for it okay that's done before i uh, play this audio let me also thank our sponsors of the video which are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. So do check them out. Their link is also in video's description. Okay, let me play this audio now for you. You're finally moving to the States. I can't wait for you to tell me about everything that happens because I, I miss the Connie Dragon competition. Of course. That's interesting. Very interesting. But you see... The expression of sentiment is very, very clear. And now let's try out this one where we are just being a bit <clears throat> romantic in this one. So let's see how the sentiment and expressivity is done by the model. Let me play it. In my heart and my soul, you are my heart and my soul. And one day we will say yes together. Okay. Um, okay, I'm not sure, but maybe uh, it is okay, I would say this one. The previous two were good, but this one is okay. But anyway, I think pretty good model from uh, Meta, not bad at all. The spirit is there, really like it. The installation is a bit cumbersome at the moment, as you can already see, but now you know how to do it. The key lies in putting the models properly in the checkpoint directory. The rest of it, you can grab all the commands i will give you the link which you can run through so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching